Ace Magix, W1, Warlord Mini PC. Warlord? Y yeah, okay. I think I'll be sticking to W1 from now on. This is an all plastic silver box and creaks in the hands with some pressure, but overall build quality looks to be okay. The W1 is Ace Magic's entry into the mini space with AMD's Ryzen 8745HS. A powerful bang for buck option with 8 cores, 16 threads, and Radeon 780M graphics. It's available on the official website for $449 US dollars for the 1TB SSD 32GB RAM combo, which is a decent price compared to the competition, and the Amazon.com pricing is similar after the coupon. Included with this mini PC is a VESA mount with screws, HDMI cable, manual, and compact 19 volt 120 watt power supply. The front of it has a USB 4 40 gigabit port. Unfortunately, it doesn't support power delivery to the mini PC, so you'll need to use the power supply. Next to it are two USB 3 10 gigabit ports and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Ace Magic has thrown in a Realtek Wi-Fi 6 card for wireless and Bluetooth. On the back is a HDMI 2.0 port, DisplayPort, Realtek 2.5 gigabit LAN, and four USB 3 5 gigabit ports. So there's plenty of USB. This is one of those minis where opening it is a real chore. Instead of being easy and painless to access memory and storage, it's a pain in the ass. Four tightly glued on rubber feet to remove, then four screws. You'll need to give a little tough love to the black bottom section to get it to move. Once it's out, pull on the side of the case until the cooler is no longer locked in place, and then wiggle it out while watching out for the wireless and Bluetooth cables. Then we've finally got access to the DDR5 5600 memory and dual M.2 Gen 4 slots. Both are connected to the top of the case with thermal pads for cooling. One of the M.2 slots is occupied by a Racing 1TB drive which holds the Windows 11 Pro OS. The M.2 wireless card is also easily accessible. Checking the Windows install for malware and rootkits and nothing came up. But if you don't want to use Windows, I did try Ubuntu and it worked fine. Alright, let's see how the Ace Magic W1 compares against the Minis Forum UM870, which is a close competitor. In single core Cinebench, they're basically the same. In multi-core, the W1 performs similarly to the UM870's balance mode, but it is slightly behind and the performance mode of the UM870 puts it behind even further. Geekbench single core matches the UM870 once again. So let's move on to multi-core. The UM870 is slightly faster in balance mode and has a little more performance when it's running in performance mode. The short H.264 CPU video encoding test mirrors that almost exactly. In the AV1 encoding test, the Mini's Forum UM870 substantially outperformed the W1. Almost a 100 second difference here. Switching the same workload to the iGPU and the UM870 beats it there as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the Geekbench AI numbers for the UM870, but the CPU result for the W1 is good. With it being around the H255, which is a refresh of the 8745HS. Now we put that load onto the GPU and it does okay. It falls a bit short against the H255, mostly in half precision. We have a whole stack of minis in the 3D Mark graphics chart using Radeon 780M graphics, and the W1 came back last out of those in Firestrike. Though it's not a massive difference between the best and worst results. Less than 5%. Time Spy was also the lowest result out of the Radeon 7080Ms, as was Steel Nomad. So clearly the iGPU side is a bit weaker on the Ace Magic W1. At worst, by a few percent. Normally with the game tests I use 1080p low for maximum frames, but since we've looked at the Radeon 780M so many times, this time the esports titles are tested at 1080p high. And depending on the game, you can still get a good frame rate.
Perhaps it's time to learn some new tricks. For the AAA games this time, we're going with 1080p medium, and these manage to hold a 30fps average. One of my favourite PS3 games doesn't run full speed at 1080p with the RC PS3 emulator, but a lot of the PS3 library will be fine, and other emulators like Semu should be no problem. The USB 4 port allows various devices to be connected. Here I'm testing it with an eGPU using an RTX 4070 Super, and it works fine. Adobe Photoshop performance with the 8745HS is excellent, matching Intel's flagship 4 Ultra 9 to 85H. Adobe Premiere performance is also good, and not too far off Intel's best result. A score of around 2000 for the included Gen 4 NVMe drive is very average, and the SSD temp held up fine even when the drive is put under a thrash test with Cinebench running in the background. The W1 has excellent Bluetooth range, the best of any mini PC tested without external antennas so far, and there are no problems with wireless range either. Well done. I tested a game of Valorant at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band, and there were no connection problem notifications. An idle power draw of 9 watts is fine, nothing out of the ordinary. Maximum power draw hit 103 watts from the wall, which is around what we've come to expect from mini PCs with these types of chips. While the maximum CPU temp of 85C may seem impressive, it's a throttling limit set out of the box. The W1 thermal throttles under load to keep the CPU at that temp, and that's why the AV1 video test especially came back worse than the competition. A 90C plus temp in mini PCs or laptops with these high performance chips is not unusual, and I think it would have been fine here too, especially when performance is on the table. Load fan noise is on the higher side at default, and here's the UM870 for comparison. But if we compare the performance mode of the UM870, the W1 is quieter. Ace Magic has put together a pretty compact mini PC. This one is below average in volume, and very similar to Intel Nux of old. To enter the BIOS, mash the delete key on startup. In advanced OEM features management, you'll find the AC PAL well R lose control. My favorite. There's also wake on LAN and the power limit setting, which is set to performance by default. But it can be dropped down to lower the power limit, heat and fan noise if you like. So that's the Ace Magic W1. It's pretty competitively priced, has excellent wireless and Bluetooth range, and comes with a compact power supply. However, fan noise is on the high side, it's a pain to open, and there's no active cooling for the RAM. So that's the Ace Magic W1 Warlord. The previous Ace Magic Mini I reviewed was the budget Vista V1, which I thought was very good for the dollars, and made my top 5 budget mini PC list. You can find the review of it, right here. Cheers!